Nam Brakti Hawa Brakata Yahusha Brakti Hawa Brakata Yahusha Bahashan Rakakwadash Double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Addressing the Coming Board. Lord Will, you are edified. This video was inspired by a post from Adlai Defending the Truth, and he posted Shalom Ak. I need a little guidance. I'm new to this truth, and I know Adam was Shahawasha, but the root word of Adam means red, just like it said about Esau. But I know Yahusha was from the tribe of Judah, was Adam. How Yahusha deceived the serpent. Just need a little guidance, Ak Shalom. Okay, let's break this down within the spirit. All right, Shalom Ak, I need a little guidance. I'm new to this truth, and I know Adam was Yahusha, but the root word of Adam means red, just like it said about Esau. All right. Now, that's why it's extremely important to have teachers, okay? Because the blue letter goes off. Case in point, Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord Yahweh power formed man, referring to Adam, of the dust of the ground. If you can receive this in the spirit, okay? Adam means Adama, which means the ground. Case in point. According to the Hebrew for ground, Strong's H127 pronounced as Adama, which means ground or earth. Okay. And the Lord Yahweh power form man of the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life meaning he received the Holy Spirit and man became a living soul because he had the Holy Spirit again Adam means Adama which means ground okay and if we dig into the earth the deeper we get Okay, the darker the soil is, the darker the earth is. Okay, so Adam means Adama, which means ground or earth. Another precept, Ecclesiasticus chapter 33 and verse 10. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth, hence Adama. Okay, Adam is pronounced as Adama in the Hebrew, which means the earth, okay, or ground. But I know Yahawashah was from the tribe of Judah. That is correct. Yahawashah was from the tribe of Judah. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord Yahweh sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood. Okay, you are correct. However, during the time of Adam, okay, the Israelites were classified as the Adamites. Okay, and within the concept of the Adamites, you had a chosen race, okay, which later became the Israelites. And just to prove my point, let's go to Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam in that day that the Allahayim created man in the likeness of the Most High made he him, okay? And again, all right, at this time frame, we were classified as the Adamites, okay? And we later became the Israelites. Okay, so I'm new to this truth, and I know Adam was Yahusha, but the root word of Adam means red. And again, you're right. Yahusha was Adam. And to prove that point, 1 Corinthians 15 and 45. 
And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So this precept alone supports that Yahweh was Adam. All right, so Yahweh was Adam and not Adam was Yahweh All right, keep that in mind. Yahweh was Adam, okay, so Adam was not Yahweh if that makes sense. And also, Yahweh was Isaac, and Yahweh was King Solomon as well. Um, it's said about Esau, but I know Yahweh was from the tribe of Judah. Clarify that. Was Adam how Yahweh deceived the serpent? I'm thinking he was saying, if Yahweh was Adam, how was he deceived by the serpent? If this is the case, remember, according to Ecclesiastes, right? Ecclesiastes 1 and 11, there is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that slack it. Let me read that again. Ecclesiastes 1 and 11, there is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Now, the reason why I brought this precept out, because once Yahweh was Adam, okay, he did not remember that he was Yahweh Shah. Okay? Again, when Yahweh Shah was Adam, he did not remember he was Yahweh Shah when he was Adam. Okay? This is the process of reincarnation. Okay? When Yahweh Shah was Isaac, during that time frame, he did not know that he was Yahweh Shah. When Yahweh Shah was King Solomon, okay, he did not know he was Yahweh Shah. However, when Yahweh Shah came on earth, he knew that he was Adam, Isaac, and King Solomon, okay? Precept I was looking for. Maybe. John 3 and 34. For he whom the Most High has sent spoke the words of the Most High. For the Most High give not the Spirit by measure unto him. This is referring to Yahweh Shah. Now let's read this in the um, in the NLT. Okay, John 3 and uh, 34 in the NLT. For he is sent by the Most High. He speaks 
the Most High words. For the Most High gives him the spirit without limit. See, Yahweh Shah had full access to the Holy Spirit, and therefore he was able to recall when he was Adam, when he was Isaac, when he was King Solomon, hell, when he was Melchizedek, okay? Only as himself, he was able to defeat sin within the flesh. Why? Because the Most High gave him the spirit without limit. All right. So, of course, um, as when Yahushua was Adam, he was deceived um, by the serpent through Eve. Why? Because this thing we call life had to play out. Okay? Let's get some precepts. Um, Second Ezra's. Chapter 3 and verse 21. For the first Adam bearing a wicked mind transgressed. Meaning what? He broke the law, statutes, and the commandments. He committed spiritual fornication and was overcome. And so be all they that are born of him. So when Yahweh was Adam, he delivered us to death. Now Yahweh as himself. He delivers us to life, beginning with the elect. Lord will, we are the elect. And that trickles down to the rest of Israel, okay? Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 30. For the grain of evil seed has been sown in the mind of Adam, from the beginning, and how much ungodliness has it brought up unto this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? The point is, for the grain of evil seed has been sown in the mind of Adam. Okay? And remember, when Yahusha was Adam, he didn't have full access to the Spirit. Okay? And when Yahweh was Adam, he did not know he was Yahweh Okay? That's the process of reincarnation. But again, as himself, okay? As himself, Yahweh as himself, he knew all things. And again, he was able to defeat sin within the flesh. And that is the reason why he's classified as the captain of our salvation. And that's the reason why, beginning with the elect, the nation of Israel will, will have everlasting life. Lord will, this was edifying. Shalom.